Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many GitHub Desktop users have. Our viewer wants to know how to run Stash in GitHub Desktop on Windows. While this feature is available in other tools like SourceTree, it seems to be a bit elusive in GitHub Desktop. Let's explore this together and find out how you can manage your stashes effectively. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. To run Stash in GitHub Desktop, it's important to note that GitHub Desktop does not have a built-in Stash feature like SourceTree. However, you can use the command line to achieve similar functionality. First, open git bash or your preferred command line interface. Navigate to your repository folder using the cd command. Next, to stash your changes, use the command git stash. This will save your uncommitted changes and revert your working directory to the last commit. If you want to see a list of your stash changes, you can run git stash list. This will show you all the stashes you've created. Finally, to apply your stash changes back to your working directory, use git stash apply. This will bring back your changes without removing them from the stash. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If you're using Android Studio, you don't need GitHub Desktop to switch branches. You can do it directly in Android Studio. Be aware that if you encounter a rebase failed error, it means you have uncommitted changes in your current branch. After resolving the errors, you can attempt the rebase again. And that's it guys. We've gone through the solutions and I'm hoping that it resolved your issue. If it did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.